All right, well, the Aussie biotech Emugen has announced a strategic partnership with the US health tech Kincel Bio as it steps up its fight against cancer. For the details and the $6 million deal, Nadine spoke earlier with Emugen's CEO, Leslie Chong. Emugen has a product that we call Azer Cell. It's an allogeneic chimeric antigen therapeutics. And what that does is it really reprocesses your whole blood disease to cure certain kinds of blood um, cancers. And to manufacture it, you get a healthy donor, knock out some genes so that it fits in with uh, the cancer patients, etc. And what we have done um, is to partner the manufacturing facility that we have in Durham, North Carolina, to a very well-established kind of a scrappy company that um, has lots of experience in producing these products to Kinsell. So our manufacturing is with an organization that does this day in and day out. That's their bread and butter. And Imaging gets to do what we do best is to develop our Azer cell, our CF33, our, all our products. We are experts at clinical development. And so that's what we get. At, in addition to that, we get a $6 million milestones up at the payment, and we have uh, roughly a, a savings of $32 million um, in the future. That gives us a runway to 2026, which is significant. That is significant because does that mean that you are unlikely to need to raise capital to continue your research and development? Look, so it's it depends on how well our product does. The more progression we have in our clinical development, the more patients you need, the more data that you need in order to go into a registrational or to market study. And so at that point, we're either hopefully we'll be partnered again, or we'll do um, a capital raise, but it's, it would be off a of good data. But that's, that's good. That's a positive thing. Yeah, um, because you're reaching these milestones. And when milestones get reached, you know, you take it to the next level. And I should have said the clinical development. So just to flesh out this Kinsel Bio. Um, so essentially what you're saying is we're not manufacturers. We don't need to be. We're going to continue to partner with those who can. So is this sort of a part of a, a broader strategic shift at Imogene? Or, you know, is this something that you'd always sort of plan? I'm just trying to get some perspective for investors as to 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 yet the thinking behind it and what this means for the company going forward. So that means that we get to streamline the resources uh, financially and streamline our focus, which is really to develop meaningful cancer drugs. And we have the level of expertise and now we partnered with experts in manufacturing. So it is a very strategic move on our part to do this. And the fact that a, it gives us finances and we get to keep the resources and the resources that transitions over to the manufacturing. They're experts at what they do. They get a wide trajectory and still continue to produce Acer cell. So they get to do what they love. We get to do what we're best at. Uh, so it's sort it, it's, and it's an incredibly win to win situation. OK, you have had quite a lot of announcements out uh, this April. You know, you're been at a lot of conferences. You've got a patent granted in China. You've got a cancer study opening for bile tract cancer. Um, so yeah, Leslie, you know, you're in Utah now. Uh, what's happening there? What are you doing? What are you working towards? So we were pretty happy to announce that uh, we're at a dose level. So we're in a dose escalation study with our oncolytic viral therapy. Our, it's called CF33, and it's in a study called MAST. Uh, so it's a metastatic advanced solid tumor study. That study reached a certain high dose where we really wanted to expand into bile tract cancer, cholangiocarcinoma. And lo and behold, we have a presentation as well as a myriad of meetings, as well as poster presentation here at the Cholangio Cancer Foundation meeting in Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's exactly why I'm here. Last week, I was in North Carolina finalizing this deal. And now um, here at the end of this week, I'm here at, in Utah at the Colangio Cancer Foundation meeting. OK, so everything's happening at Imogene. Now, when you think about the remainder of 2024, like what are those big sort of milestones, those milestones that you're working toward now, Leslie? 
So Azer cell, the manufacturing continues. We have a manufacturing facility that can produce the pivotal uh, study drug. Uh, we hope to have the confirmation study and an FDA meeting so that we can move into a registrational two market study at the end of this year or early next year. With our oncolytic viral therapies, we're at a point where we're expanding at a high dose in a specific indica indication. So we've triangulated in a bio track cancer type. We've already had two patients that responded. One in particular has been going on a complete response for the last year and a more than a year and a half now. So we really want to expand into this. And if we see early signals in this expansion, I mean, that just is a very positive move for us to go into a phase two study uh, to invite more partnership. And our on carlytic study, this is another study that is in combination with uh, blematumumab, which is a marketed product from Amgen. That cohort of combination is just about to open and it's a trans transformative therapy where we literally can mark a solid tumor and aim uh, something like a missile guided um, drug to it. So we're quite excited about that particular cohort of combination opening. So lots of things happening. Uh, we, you can see in the next three months to six months to nine months, we'll have some meaningful data that's going to that's gonna really get a lot of attention.